Hello my friends, today I'm going to show you how I draw these leaves right here. I do like to create them in quite a few of my drawings, so I'm going to show you a couple of examples. So here they are over here, they're slightly different. And then over here, they're a little bit larger. So let's just jump right in, and for this you're only going to need a pen. You won't need a pencil to do any kind of sketching. And so when we get started, the very first thing that we're going to create is just that center line. So it's really just a stem. It's the very center where all those little veins of the leaf come out from. And then at the very top of this, I'm going to create a slight shape right here that looks kind of like a teardrop. This is going to be the foundation of my leaf. And if you're uncomfortable just working on this right off the bat, what you can do is to give yourself some practice at the beginning is you can use your pencil to create a rough shape of a leaf. So you can create a leaf that's very wide like this. Or you can give yourself a simpler, thinner leaf. So maybe something a little bit like this. You can always do that. As you get more practice, you'll see that you won't need to be using your pencil as much. So where we're going to begin is at the very top here, where this teardrop shape is at. We're going to start there, and I'm going to start by making my first line from the outside. I'm going to curve it, heading towards that inner line. And then I'm going to make that same line, but I'm going to continue repeating it. So here I'm going to start at the outside, curve it, and head in. Outside, curve it, and head in. So I do want you to notice that all of these are S-shaped and that when that line reaches the inside, it hugs it. So I'll show you what I mean over here on another line. If a line were here and I have these, I'm not just coming in at a harsh angle like that. I'm not letting it hit just like that. Instead, I'm letting it come around and hug it. So it tapers off and hugs it. So I do not want to do this. You can do that if you want, but I feel that the better result comes from letting those lines curve right here like a letter S, so they hug the line. So let's continue making lines here. I start at the outside, head in and hug it. So from the outside, heading in. You can start at the inside and head out if you like. That will work perfectly fine. I've done that sometimes. And it's up to you if you decide to start changing the angle, if you start changing the way it curves. Every time you change something like that, it's going to create just a slightly different look and a slightly different leaf. And it's perfectly fine. You want to experiment with that, create something different. So here's the left side of the leaf. I'm going to replicate this on the other side, but letting it curve in the other direction. I'm going to try to start here at the top, head down. So these are still curved like the letter S, but I suppose backwards, so a backwards S. I'm doing my best to let this curve nicely and hug that inner line. so that it gives me a very nice appealing curvature. So as I head towards the bottom, you'll notice that the shapes are smaller and smaller and smaller until I reach the bottom there. And so that's the end. And then as usual, what I can do is I can add some shading and I'll show you where I like to add shading. So I like to shade right here down the center, not all the way out, so about two thirds of the way. So I do some shading here and this bottom area. I add some shading there. So it is a little bit messy right now, but I'm gonna get some tissue. and I'm gonna soften that up a little bit. Or if you have a blender, you can use that. Your finger also works. So I'll just soften it a little bit. And that's where I like to add shading for that. And if I can, I'll come back and darken that just a bit more. And that's basically the result. These are the leaves that I draw. And I'll show you again what it looks like inside of my journal. 
And this is the result you'll get. I used a blue pen here and then added some colors around it using color pencils. So I hope you give this a try.